Look what I've got. Five pounds this cost me from a local amateur radio fair this morning. Five pounds. Even if it doesn't work, I've made my money back with spare bits. If you don't know what it is, it's a Tech Type 453. It says there, oscilloscope. It's in extremely scruffy state. Um, and unfortunately for me, it's got a full rack mounting kit with it. So it hasn't got the proper case and stand and stuff. But boy, is it a beauty inside. Let's go and take a look. Now, I know very little about scopes. I have repaired one, and that was just uh, a problem with solder through the um, uh, one side of the board to the other side. The fact that that was a well-known fault, except that I didn't know it. Um, and that's the only scope repair I've ever done. This is a whole new beast. The chap I bought it off said it worked a few years ago when he last used it. But, um, you know. But, uh, look at that. Gold plated PCBs. Now this one was made in Guernsey, which is um, one of the Channel Islands, actually owned by the UK, but they're just off the coast of France. Um, and uh, you may recall that Tektronix bought um, tele-equipment and that was the last scope that I repaired and uh, these were made under license as such um, in the Guernsey factory but look at all that now I know very little about this particular scope at the moment I've, uh, I've got it home and I've just this minute opened or took the covers off yes, looking at the side um, I just remember someone saying that these might have tunnel there's the delay line down there, I know what that is um, these might have tunnel diode, diodes in them so I need to, which, um, sorry I'll go backwards these have got tunnel diodes in which if you start measuring them with a um, ohm meter you can kill them so as I know so little I'm not going to start prodding and poking around just yet I will need to find out where they are there's also um, a difference um, I think the later versions had FETs in the front end and some versions had new vistas so once again I'm going to try and find out all the differences. So, what are these things down there? With four wires coming out of them. Hmm, don't know yet. I've not even downloaded the flipping manual yet. Right, this is a big beast, so excuse me groaning while I tip it over. As I say, this has got a rack mount, but um, just by the look of it, you can see the great big casting on the side here. This is. Um, Got a rack mount, but I assume he, you know, the normal case would just fill out on it. So I might put a put a word out to, um, see if anyone's got one. There's the high voltage box. Gonna have to open that and see what's in it. It's just the under, isn't it? Just beautiful, isn't it? Uh, what's this? vertical preamp oh it's just beautiful nice. two transistors you know if you look at that one's got PNP and one's got NPN it's in a single package now I've heard that one problem with these, well there's obviously several problems, but one thing to watch out for is the power supply. Only what I can remember reading, so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to apply any power to it. I'm going to, um, 
ask some questions of a few people and see what they recommend the best way to power this up is because uh, a few years ago I remember the seller said um, when I asked him he said uh, well I, I asked him how when was it last powered up and he said oh yeah it was working I had it power up, powered up a few years ago it could be 20 years ago so I don't want to trash the damn thing before um, before it's given any chance of working so pleasing let's switch it on over and as I say this is really heavy as the rear of it filthy sort of sponge material where I guess the fan is but, um, let's just swing it over this side so you can have a look at this side and the auxiliary board sorry it's upside down all right, and there's the two filter capacitors. Let me swing it around this way. Nah, that's better, isn't it? There's the two big filter capacitors. I don't know whether they're multi-section. And there's the transformer. Can't see if that's that's not dripped or anything like that. There's no wax or burning, scorching or anything. Hmm. up the inside so yeah oh look at those what are those some sort of trimmer you can just see these little gold coloured screws that's some sort of capacitive trimmer wow god I love looking at all this stuff let's just have a look at the front again all the knobs are there. All right, this is me with one arm. Ugh. This is seriously heavy. All right, so yeah, when I first looked at it, I thought, oh my god, it's missing the um, screen, you know, the glass, uh, what's the word, graticule. But it, it's actually there, it's just really dirty. It's some sort of plastic material, it's not glass at all. But all the knobs are there, you know, even these pyramid knobs on the end of these, which are sometimes missing when you see these on eBay. I love all these great big clunky switches, and then you've got like a little little power switch there. But yeah, it's um, certainly going to provide me with some uh, moments of fun, and I quite enjoy just cleaning it actually. it's not too bad under all the grime something there's gone someone scratched something off there I don't know what and this is serial 102111 mod 210H as I say I have to find out what all this means I think the earlier ones had the new vistas and tunnel diodes maybe I don't know be talking rubbish but anyway I thought you might like to see that I also got uh, a fully cased variac that um, that the windings had burnt out on that cost me two quid and I've got a variac to drop straight in the box so that's a professionally made box it's actually just down here underneath the spidola so it's a professionally made box but the windings have burnt out on this, so I just need to drop my uh, my OK variac in there. And I also got um, a 240 to 115 volt isolation transformer for a pound, which was a flipping bargain. And that's all I bought. No radios or anything. Right. Thanks for watching. I'm sure you might hear about this one in the future.